Hey Scrappers, it's Tom from the iScrap app and we want to talk about some basic tips on yellow brass. As you just saw a brief image, and we'll go back to it, of yellow brass that's been sorted out at a scrapyard. Now yellow brass can have a couple small pieces of contamination, maybe a stainless steel screw, small piece of plastic, but if you look down here you're going to see some more things that you can look out for. Now yellow brass is going to have that very yellow color to it, so when you use the file you're going to see the yellow that's on it. Also yellow brass is very often used in chrome applications, so you'll see a thin layer of chrome on top of it, but use your trusty file, which you'll probably find dozens if not hundreds of these in scrap, and they're one of the most useful tools that you could use. Now the brass that you see here, you see that it has some dirt, it has some dust, and it has some debris on it. These are all things that the scrap yard are going to want to look for. Things you're going to want to look for, pieces of copper attached that you can cut off. As you can see here, there's relatively small pieces of copper, but nothing too crazy. So this customer did a nice job of cutting these ends off and making a couple of extra bucks as close as possible. What you also might see, a couple of stainless steel screws. Now in the plumbing world they like to use stainless steel because it doesn't rust so it makes a little better application and they're not doing these installs thinking that they're going to be scrapping them afterwards. So if you have a couple of small nuts and bolts don't be shocked if your scrapyard doesn't say anything. It's when you have larger pieces of contamination you have to worry about. This is Tom from the iScrap app. Any other tips and tricks that you need on yellow brass, red brass, copper, aluminum, or any other types of metals, please tune in to any of our social media channels and we'll get you those answers. Until next time, we'll scrap you later.